since J.D. Vance has become the vice presidential nominee, people have compared Joe Biden being in politics for longer than he's been alive. So we've asked since he's not a traditional politician as a pick for VP, could this be what unites not only the Republican Party, but also brings in moderates to this ticket? I think experience in Washington isn't necessarily a recipe for success. Our party has shifted away from the everybody waits their term and, and it's now your turn and I'll wait and, and bide my time because what that really does, it creates, I think, a rot in your politics where you're not responsive to the people, you're only responsive to party bosses or the people who are ahead of you in elective position. That's where the Democrats party is right now and that is why they are not responsive to the American people. You think about the president and the talent we have in our party that he gets to pick to fill out his administration I and mean, the Democrats don't even know who the nominee is yet. Look at President Biden which I hope he gets better soon. Um, that's no joke you know. Um, we never want to see the president of the United States um, sick. Um, he had 40 years in the Senate and he hasn't exactly delivered results that he's promised. I think J.D. Vance will be a great compliment to the president. He has a powerful story, which we got to hear and see last night. Um, and I think he's gonna do a really great job connecting with Americans, particularly in the Rust Belt, and really fighting for the American worker, something that's gonna be really important for the November election. Well, the most exciting thing for me as a mom is the fact that J.D. and his wife have young children. And during COVID, we saw a nation shoulder children with the burden of adult selfishness and fear. And never again will we allow our schools to be closed, to mask our children, to lock families down, to shut down businesses. And I have a feeling that J.D. Vance is going to be a real fighter for parents uh, as vice president. So we're excited to see the work that he'll do. Our party, whether it's J.D., myself, uh, I'm talking about the young guys who are coming on, Kat, uh, my good, my great, great friend, Corey Mills, um, Donald Trump, obviously. Um, oh my gosh, we got so many people that have come in. The reason why we're a more di we're a diverse party and growing, we're a younger party than the Democrat Party, is because we're not playing the old political games of waiting your turn. I'm happy for JD because JD's bringing a perspective as a young American who's made something of himself, and he's going to live with the outcomes of the decisions that we make. He's actually a really humble guy very curious guy, meaning he doesn't walk into a conversation saying, I know everything and you guys are always wrong. Um, but he's incredibly smart. Um, and, and I think as this campaign rolls on, people are going to get to know that part of him. And I, he's going to be a real big asset. He's not shielded from the realities of our country by political machines and political protection. And he's been groomed and he's waited his turn and now it's his time. He's a fully formed politician at 57 years old. No, our party's done with that. If you can do the job and you can excel, we want you. Period. Full stop. Vance at 39 years old is the youngest vice presidential nominee. And this comes at a time when age and mental acuity are on the ballot. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I'm Amy DeLora for Washington Examiner.